everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my nail polish collection. One of you actually asked me to film this like a couple of months ago. I'm sorry it took so long. I wanted to get a couple of new nail polishes before filming this, but now it's time. I actually have filmed a nail polish collection video once before, but it was back in May 2018, so it has been two years and most of my collection has changed. I think most of the nail polishes I had back then I have used up and then most of the nail polishes I do have right now or at least about half of the nail polishes I have right now are bought after filming that video. So I'm really excited to share this collection with you. All of the nail polishes I have are cruelty free and vegan except these Essence the Gel nail polishes that I do still have few in my collection. I think these were not labeled vegan officially but you could find them on some vegan products lists on different blogs. So I actually do think they are vegan but they are no longer available. Now these Shine Last Go nail polishes are replacing those and these are vegan and so is everything else that I have in my collection. I'm storing my nail polishes in this container that is actually from H&M Home. I really do love this for storing my nail polish collection because I try to keep my nail polish collection curated so I don't want to purchase nail polishes more what I can fit here. So right now it's full. I think I could fit there just a couple of more but then it would be too full. So I'm trying at the moment maintain one out, one in type of system with my nail polishes so that I can fit everything here. So yeah, let's get into it and let's start from back here where I do have all of my nail care products. As you can see, there's not much here. I do have nail polish remover. I use the one from Sosu. You can get this on Beauty Bay and it only contains acetone and water. This really works and that's all I want from a nail polish remover. And then I do have this Moroccan Argan Oil from Acure. This one I originally bought for face, but I noticed it's way too thick for me to use on my face and also this one is fragranced. So I decided to start using this one on my cuticles, so that's really the only care product I do have. I am really lazy what comes to nail care and I do tend to keep my nails quite short. When I'm working, at the moment I'm not working, but when I'm working long nails would just be on my way and because I touch a lot of fabrics my nails tend to weaken quite a bit. So because of that I like to keep them on shorter side. Then I do have here this spatula from Real Techniques. You are supposed to dig product out from a bottle with this one, but I use it to dig it under my nails. And then I do have there some cotton pads. So my nail care routine is really really simple. Over here I do have all of the nail polishes that I am panning at the moment, so these four, and then I do have my base coat and my top coat. As base coat I am using the Essence Extreme Last base coat and as top coat I'm using the Catrice Super Dry Gloss top coat and these really make a huge difference. My nail polish wears so much better now than before I started using these. There was a time when I didn't wear any base coat or top coat because I was just so lazy but then my nail polish started chipping a day after application so I had to do my nail polish so often. Now that I use these I only need to do my nail polish once or twice a week so it really saves time when I use these and these are so affordable. Both of these are about 3 euros so you don't need to buy something really fancy. You can buy something affordable like these and they really help. Also the Catrice top coat gives a beautiful glossy finish on top of a nail polish and also it helps the nail polish dry a little bit quicker so I definitely do recommend these too. 
Taste nail polish I am wearing today, it is the Essence the Gel Nail Polish in the shade Dare It Nude and it is this beautiful beige nude, it's quite neutral or even like cooler toned, it's really beautiful. This one is in the Roulette Pan Collab right now and I'm trying to use it up. And the rest of these three nail polishes are in my Project Polish. My Project Polish has been a rolling project since May 2018 and now I'm starting to be pretty sick of it and I feel I need a break from Project Polish. So I'm going to end it in a couple of weeks. I'm still trying to finish up a couple of these nail polishes and then I'm going to end the project and probably just try to rotate through my collection for the rest of this year and then next year do a year-long project. But right now I just feel I need a break. This is another Essence the Gel Nail Polish. It is to say Olive U. As the name suggests, it is an olive grey nail polish. For some reason I don't think this is the most flattering color on myself. And I wrote this into the project police in fall and I was supposed to finish it up during fall, but I didn't do that. So now it has been untouched in this project for a while, but there's not really much left in this one, so I should really be able to use it up. I think I need to do a pedicure with this one. That is what I always end up doing with nail polishes that are in projects and I don't want to see on my fingernails. This one is a mini from Mineral Fusion and as you can see there's not much left. It is a shimmery nail polish. It really doesn't have that much pigment to it. It only has these light purple shimmers. This color is called Pink Crush and it is pretty. Mineral Fusion nail polishes I cannot get anymore. I do have a couple this one and another one and I bought them on iHerb but since I have bought this the shipping regulations for nail polish has changed and I can no longer order nail polish from iHerb. And this is also ordered from iHerb. It is the Pacifica 7 Free Nail Color in the set Immortal. This is such a beautiful color and I love the packaging. This is the most beautiful packaging. I mean look at that cap, that gold decoration is so stunning. However, unfortunately this formula is not really good. It takes three coats with me to be able to wear this and even then I don't have fully opaque application on the larger nails and I just don't want to do more layers than three and even three is a stretch because with base coat, with the actual nail polish and with the top coat there's just so many layers on my nails and it takes forever to try, it takes forever to do my nails and yeah, I know there are formulas that don't take that much layers. Then here in the larger section I do have all of the nail polishes that are not in project polish at the moment, so most of my collection. They are by brand at the moment. For the most part there is one Essence nail polish hidden back here, but let's start from here. This one is Essence Shineless Go Nail Polish in the set On Air and they did have the same color in their the Gel Nail Polish line and I actually used mine up. This one is my perfect gold glitter nail polish because the color is not too yellow and not too warm so it's like a really classic and beautiful gold and also the glitters are not too chunky. Glitter nail polishes I mainly do wear on the tips of my fingernails and most of the times only on the tips of my ring finger nail. But yeah, glitter nail polishes are probably not something I would really pan in the future because they just take forever, especially if it is any other color than a classic gold like this. But I do want to have a couple of glitter nail polishes in my collection so that I do have the option to do the clear tips because I think that is such a fun touch and it makes your nails look like you tried harder and especially if you do have shorter nails like me if you have a formal event like a wedding or something and you want your nails to look extra nice but you don't want to get acrylics or anything you can really make them look glamorous and nice with glitter tips this one is another glitter nail polish. It is the Essence the Gel Nail Polish in the shade My Sparkling Darling. So it is 
a pink glitter nail polish. And this one is Essence the Gel Nail Polish in this a pretty cool life and I do really enjoy this nail polish. This is a really unique color. It's kind of like minty but then it's not like pure mint green. I would say it's kind of like antique type of mint green. It's really really beautiful. Typically I don't like any green or blue nail polishes but this one I actually do like because it's not too bright color. And then my only blue nail polish at the moment is Essence the Gel Nail Polish in Shade Jeans On. This is like a muted medium blue. This is something I might consider panning next year. This is my only nail polish from Berry M, but I'm for sure planning on trying more of their nail polishes. This is their Molten Metal Nail Paint in Shade Pink Eyes and it is this beautiful rose gold shimmer nail polish. I love this. This is such a beautiful color. I have heard really good things about barium nail polishes and I definitely do want to try more and different lines. This is my another nail polish from Mineral Fusion. So it is their nail lacquer in the shade Lagoon and I think it's really fitting color to the name. This is like a true turquoise. I like this color once in a while, however, what I don't like about in this nail polish is that it dries matte. The top coat that I use, the Catrice one, gives glossy finish even to this one, but overall I don't like matte finish on a nail polish. Then we are moving to my Catrice nail polishes. All of these with black cap are from Catrice. They also came with a plastic cap like this, but I took them off. This one is one of my favorite nail polishes in my entire collection. It is a nail polish from a limited edition line from Catrice. They do all the time these limited edition lines. This one is from the brown collection. It looks so amazing during fall time. I love it and I'm so happy to have this one. Then all of the Catrice nail polishes with the black cap are from their Iconels collection. This one I also do love. It is their Iconels nail polish in this shade Good Nails Only and it is a beautiful copper nail polish. This is a metallic finish. I think this is the only nail polish in my collection left that is truly a metallic finish. Then I do have some shimmers that are quite close but they are not like true metallics. I don't typically like metallic nail polishes that much. I panned one that was kind of like a light bronze and I don't know, I think that kind of colors make my nails look washed out almost. But this one I do like because it's a little bit deeper. It's really, really beautiful color, especially for fall. This next one is in the set Let's Get Ready for Bronze and it is a bronzy shimmery nail polish. This is not metallic. But it is a beautiful shimmer polish. I think this color is perfect for summer and fall time. Then this color is called Red Midnight Mystery and it is like a deeper burgundy shade. This is also something I do love to wear during fall time. Then I do have a couple of different reds in this line. This one is called Caught on the Red Carpet and it is a beautiful, quite intense blue toned red. I love it. And then this another red that I have from this line is called Bloody Mary to Go. This one is also blue toned but it's brighter so I think this is more kind of like summery when the coat on the red carpet is more like all year around type of red. Do I need both of them? Actually yes because I, I love red nail polish. I love red lipstick also and I do love red nail polish so those kind of two options are something I want to have. A little bit deeper one and then a brighter one. Then the last nail polish from this line that I have is called for the very first time. So it is this beautiful berry. Not something I wear that often but I do quite like it still. I really do love this line from Catrice. They are affordable, they do have nice selection and I like the formula. With most of these I think you can get fully opaque application with only two coats. Some colors may take three but I usually am fine with two. They dry pretty fast. I don't think they are the best wearing nail polish ever but with top coat and with base coat they do wear pretty good. 
And then I still want to show you before we get to my indie nail polishes. This one nail polish from Essence that I have. So this is the Essence Color and Care nail polish, and it is in the shade Take a Break. And this is like an off-white shade. Not something I wear that often, and I'm actually thinking of putting this one also to my project polish next year because I have had it for quite a while. Okay, the rest of my nail polishes are more or less indie, or I'm not sure about Color Club. Let me know if Color Club is considered indie. But I do have some nail polishes from Color Club and 10 from A England. And that one I think is like a true indie nail polish brand. Here in Finland you can get these nail polishes from a Caesar shop. They do have a nice online store and they also do have a store in Helsinki. At the moment I think the store is closed but their website is of course always open. So let's start with the A England nail polishes. I really do love the stories behind these nail polishes but unfortunately I have gotten some colors that I'm necessarily not the biggest fan of. So that only shows me that I should not purchase nail polishes or makeup products or other things just because they are themed after something. I have also done it with makeup and then I have ended up not using the product. And that's what happened with some of these nail polishes. So I don't know, a couple of these I'm actually thinking of giving to my mom because I know there are colors that she would probably like more than me. But let's go through this. I do have a couple of nail polishes from the Sleeping Beauty line from A England and this, to be honest, I should not have gotten because the colors are not really something I would wear that much. This one is called Briar Rose and it is this kind of like pink shimmery nail polish. It's beautiful color but not just necessarily my style. And then the another nail polish I do have from this line is called Rose Bower and this is like a red shimmery nail polish. As I said, I do love red nail polish, but I want my red nail polish to be just like a normal finish without any shimmer to it. And I love those one that I have from Catrice. I don't think I would wear this one more than those. So this one I'm actually considering to giving for my mom. I'm actually going to ask if she wants to take this. This nail polish is called Elaine. This one I bought because of the color and that's why I should purchase nail polishes. Because I want the color, not because I want a nail polish from a certain collection. So yeah, this is new. I have not used this yet. It is this deep purple and these kind of colors I do wear during fall time. I don't necessarily need this because I do have the deep burgundy from Catrice, but I don't mind having it either. And then, last but not least, from the A England nail polishes, my favorite nail polish color ever. So black. This one is called Camelot. I have not worn black nail polish in a while because I have been so focused on project polish, but Black is something that I always wear during fall time and winter time if I want to make a statement with my nails. Then I do still have here some nail polishes from Color Club. First I do have a couple of nail polishes from their New Rules of Engagement line. This one is called Toasted and it is a gold glitter nail polish. This one is much warmer than the Essence the Gel Nail Polish or the Shine Last Go Nail Polish in On Air. And these glitters are way bigger and there's also some white flakies in here, so they are quite different. So I don't mind having both. Do I need both? No, but I don't think this is realistic for me to pan. So for now I'm just going to give both of them and I will use whichever I feel like to. This nail polish is called Piece of Cake and this one was the reason why I broke my nail by last year. I bought this one and the previous one, but this is the reason why I did it. The only things I bought during the year that really broke my nail by were these two nail polishes. So this is a light peachy shimmer nail polish and I bought this for a couple of reasons. First of all, I had from Essence the Gel nail polish line really similar color to this. 
and I used it up in my project polis and I wanted a similar color. However, another reason why I bought this was the name of this nail polis. So it's called Piece of Cake. And when my husband and I got married in 2014, I wrote a wedding blog and my wedding blog name was Piece of Wedding Cake. So it felt kind of like so personal and sentimental to me. And yeah, I just, there is something about weddings that I still loved, even though it has been five and a half years since I got married myself. But really, I still love watching all different wedding shows, like Say Yes to the Dress is something I have been binging recently since I have been just at home. I love it. And honestly, it would be my dream to work in a wedding dress store. Anyways, we are so off track now, so let's move on. This nail polish is from a line that is full of nudes, from really light, almost white nudes, to really deep browns. So the idea is that everyone should be able to find their perfect nude color from that line. I love that. I think that is a genius idea for a nail polish line. This color is called Nothing But A Smile and it is quite a neutral nude. I hoped that this would be similar to the Essence The Gel Nail Polish in Derrick Nude, but this one is still a little bit warmer. The Essence The Gel Nail Polish in Derrick Nude is clearly cooler. It almost has some ashy vibes to it when this one is just like a neutral nude. Yeah, actually I have the Essence one on my nails, so as you can see, compared, this Color Club one is warmer, but because of that it's actually more like a true nude on myself. Then this one is called Take It or Leave It. I think this is from their Gabin Fever collection or something like that. This is a beautiful, kind of like pinky, mauve nude. It's quite cool toned and quite light. I have not worn this yet, but I do know this is a color I like. It's really wearable and especially winter time, I do enjoy this kind of colors. Then the last nail polish from Color Club that I have is this one called Don't Steal My Thunder. And this one is a peachy shimmery nail polish. It's really beautiful. I have not worn it yet, but I know I will wear it a lot during summer. I have no idea from which collection this one is. So yeah, that is my updated nail polish collection. It took a while to film. I'm really happy with my collection right now. Couple of things I want to add to my collection, but at the same time I want to make sure that I can fit my nail polish collection to my container. This nail polish from A England I am giving to my mother if she wants to take it. But that was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye bye.